What's going on guys, Ruffy right here, and we're back, we're making more for Maverick videos this time around. I decided to do kind of like a whole review about the truck. I've been having it for about, I want to say six months, something like that. Uh, now it has about 3,600 miles in it. I decided to do a review, I think it's time enough to do a review on the Ford Maverick. Kind of give you my top five reasons of things that I like and I don't like for the inside and out. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of tech reviews, uh, sneaker reviews, and also travel videos, which I haven't done in a while. But uh, that's what I do here in the channel. And lately, I've been making videos about the Ford Maverick. Because a lot of uh, people still have a lot of questions about the Ford Maverick. And also questions of all the other videos that I've done in the past as well. So if you have any of those questions, remember to put it down here in the uh, description box below. And if you like this video or any of my other videos, remember to hit that like and that subscribe so you guys know when I'm putting more videos for you guys. So. All right guys, so we're gonna start right here in the front of the truck right here. I'm gonna go to some of the things that I like and some of the things that I don't like about the truck. So let's start with the ones that I don't like around the truck you know starting here with the front in here i wish that ford would have implemented this like just like the lariat version because i think this is a waste of space um if you don't put any light right here and the lariat is the only one that have the top uh light right here we do have the bottom which i i that's another thing that i would say that i like but right now i don't like that it doesn't have this light all the way up here that's the number one part that I don't like about the front of the uh, truck right here. All right, my second thing that I don't like about it, that Ford did not include any fog lights. Like the only lights that we have here are the front headlights and that's about it. Like, come on now Ford, if we have the space right here, why we couldn't add any fog lights? You know, and if it's that the case, like give me a space so I can put them. Like give me like a fake hole or something so we can get them or like an aftermarket version uh, so that we can install if you wanted to put any fog lights. So that's the second thing that I don't like. I like that we have the tow hooks right here, but come on. All we needed is just some fog lights and there it goes. It's supposed to go right here. So that's the second thing that I don't like about the Ford Maverick. All right, so moving along right here, we have here my third thing here that I don't like about it, that we have this plastic plate right here that says XLT. And this plastic thing, I wish I could remove it or there could be like a third party part as well that we can remove because I really don't like seeing the words XLT. The letters right there, I wish it would say like Maverick or something else or just for in general, give me like a, an accessory or something different that I can change this right here because it looks good but this yet doesn't have any ventilations either so it doesn't even work for that for the engine to cool off or maybe the brakes to get some uh, air through it so that would have been nice if they would have implemented that so which i could change this uh and that's the third thing that i don't like about the four maverick all right the fifth thing that i don't like about it is that all the trucks come with this mirror here all black i wish they would have come with color I know the Laria comes also with that color, that uh, the mirror cap, but come on. So I definitely don't like that the mirror is all black. I wish I would have, you know, definitely a option to change that or to order it like that without ordering the Laria version. All right, so we got here number five thing I don't like about the Maverick is that we don't have any steps right here. I wish we had a step right here so we can get into the cabin. Uh, cause like getting an aftermarket part just to put it down here so you can get access to the bed truck, you know, it's kind of dumb. So I wish, uh, Ford would have added like a step right here on the back so you can get into the uh, bed truck right here. So, and the truck bed, I'm sorry. So come on, that could have been definitely a space right there to utilize, to put your feet in there so you can get up and get into the, uh, truck bed right here. So. I don't know. I don't know how why they didn't utilize that space over there. So now as a bonus kind of thing, one thing that I wish Ford would have made a little bit different. I wish this bed 
uh, cover right here would have been a little bit longer because like I showed you in my previous videos if you go right here it is nice right here it's tight but if you go all the way to the back it won't reach all the way to the back right here so that's the one thing that I wish they would have done it a little bit longer uh, so you can cover all the way from the back over there uh, all the way to here so for the front all the way to here so that's something that I wish for would have fixed you know before releasing this product right here so and also can we talk about this stretching right here like why is this never comes in a way that it will be nice and fitted like it doesn't have to be all crinkled and things like that like come on for really Hi. All right, guys, so the number one thing that I like about this truck, even though I said that it's one of the things that I don't like about it, but I do like the way that the whole um, headlight looks. You know, how when you turn them on, these two turn on in blue with the LED, and then I just replaced this light here that also LED, so I like that a lot. I like the whole housing and the way that it was uh, constructed, the design, so I really like that a lot. It's a bummer that it doesn't light up all the way over here, but I like how it was, you know, already designed. Um, along with this right here, like the whole front, pretty much, I like it a lot. The way that it was designed and everything, the whole grill here, I like that a lot. I like the whole front. I like the whole bottom as well. You know how it's actually had the tow hooks uh, right there. So the whole front is something that I really enjoy a lot, that I like about it about this truck right here on the Ford Maverick. All right, my second thing that I like about this truck is the wheels, the way that they were designed, the old black uh, look, the spokes and things like that, the five different spokes that split into two different ends. I really like that. The design, they look good. I like also the tires that they come in with the uh, 225-65 R17. These are the Pirelli Scorpions that come with the FX4 package. So if you get the FX4 package, you're going to get this type of uh, tires and wheels. I'm not sure it also comes only with the XLT. Uh, I don't know if it, with the uh, other one it comes with it, but I really like this wheel. Yeah, a lot of people say that, hey, I really like the wheels. So I'm glad that I made that choice and picked this type of wheels right here. So that's the second thing that I like about the truck, the wheels that it came with. All right, guys, another thing that I like about the truck that I'm glad that they implemented this is this control right here. With this one, you'll be able to lock your car, open your car without having the keys. Or if you left the keys inside the truck right here, then you can open it by putting the factory code or creating your own code. I don't think you need to have the luxury package because I don't have the luxury package, but it came with this right here. So I'm very glad that this is an option. That comes with the truck because you know the, the truck doesn't come with a, a wireless key fob that you you know keep it in your pocket and open like that so since it doesn't have that i'm glad that they implemented that right here because so this is the third thing that i like about the ford maverick all right guys moving on here to the fourth thing i like about the uh, ford maverick it's actually this whole back side the way it was constructed and the way that it was designed and letting you know that hey this is the back area you can use it for a lot of things and it doesn't matter if you put heavy things here or not this is plastic it's not gonna get scratched out that bad and the way that they designed this right here and the whole bed is something that I really like a lot the way that they design everything here so this is my fourth thing that I like about it we're gonna get into the bed right now uh, so we'll see this is the uh, FX4 package on the uh, Ford Maverick 2022 all right guys so let's talk about the bed of the truck which is one of the things that sold me on the most and i'm pretty sure you guys liked it also the most as well so here in the bed what i like about it is actually all the different um flex bed system that ford is offering right here by using you know two by fours and things like that um, it also have different compartments here on the side with a qr code that you can customize it and adjust and put in different things I know a lot of things can be done from factory, but I didn't opt in to get any of that. Now, one of the things that I've done, if you guys seen already, is the back cover right here. And I've also done the LED lights right down here. So those are the two things that I have already done to it. 
and I really like it. If you want to see more of that, of those videos, I will put the link up here in the corner or in the description down below. But the bed is one of the things that I, I enjoy the most. I'm looking forward to get a back cover, the one that says for Maverick and rubber, and also another one for here. But we don't know. I don't know about it yet. I'm still thinking about it. Should I get it or should I not? I guess you'll see in the near future video if I buy that or not. So if you want to be notified when that happens, remember to hit that like and that subscribe to be notified when I post more video. So the bed. It's kind of the one thing that I enjoy the most here. Carry a lot of stuff. It's the reason why I got this truck. Being a new homeowner is definitely a must. So, yep. That's my, uh, all the part that I like about the truck. The bed here. And all the different anchor points too. All the different anchor points. Uh, everything pretty much about the bed. And then another thing that I've done also on the bed is this uh, reverse light right here that I also install. So I'll put a, a link or a card above so you guys see how I install that light right there. So we got the light, we have the tailgate assist, we have uh, a cabin light as well, LED, we have the bed. So I've done a lot of things here in the back. I did also a Magard cover here as well. So pretty much all the things that I've done in the truck are back here and then inside is the sound system. So. Another thing that I did as well is actually the letters right here. Those letters, I installed them and they look really good. I might do some uh, adhesive color later on in red, but for now, those are the ones sticking right there. All right guys, so the other thing that I like about the truck is the back area here. That is actually being displayed in big bold letters, Maverick, the four right in the center, the backup camera, and the way that it looks on the back. I really like that part here. So that's my other thing that I like about the Ford Maverick. Now guys, let me know what would be a good idea to put right here. I don't know what would be a good idea to put down here. Like I want something that will be covered all the way from the bottom to the top to the side right there. So I'm looking into the Ford accessory website and don't know if I want to get that one or not because I think it covers uh, these things right here if you get that one. But I don't want to cover those tie down points over there. So. Let me know what you think is the best thing to put back here. All right, guys. So now it's time to come inside the truck. Let's see, get in here. So we can talk about some of the things that I like and I don't like about this truck right here. And I guess the number one thing I don't like from the inside is the sound that it makes because I should didn't put my seatbelt. Didn't see my seatbelt going at it. So safety first, you know. I had to get that. So the first thing is like the engine sound. When you hop in the, the truck and everything and you turn it on and then the, you know the truck is cold. Um, it feels it sounds like like the truck was diesel for some reason I don't like like a bunch of like stuff noises but after you know the motor you know it gets hot and everything then that kind of like crackling sound goes away but still even in low speed let me see if you guys hear it I don't know if you guys were able to hear it um, but going for like first, second, sometimes third gear, it's like, eh. so it sounds like a very weak, you know, uh, motor. I don't like that, uh, and I don't like that it makes that kind of sound. I wish it would have like a stronger, deeper sound. You know, I know it's not a, a six or eight cylinder; it's definitely a four cylinder. But I don't know. I'm not used to that sound yet. I uh, had a uh, a Mini Cooper. S turbo before and that four cylinder sounded way better like way better um, and before that I had a, a Mazda 3 hatchback um, and it sounded also better I don't know why but then when you floor it uh, when you floor this right here unless you want to go fast then it doesn't make that sound anymore that like annoying sound it kind of sounds more 
like you know with power we're like hefty noises and things like that so it's weird that's why I, I don't like that sound I think that's my number one complaint when driving this truck is um, that sound the engine sound and I know this there's already a lot of like cabin you know uh, seals right here there's, there's a lot of things that are preventing that noise to come in but I think it's because it's the eco boost uh, the reason why this you know the truck is the eco boost I, I think that's what's making this this sound so weird um, but if it wasn't the eco boost I don't I don't I don't I don't know but that's my number one complaint in here the thing is that they sell uh, I seen it online I think it's MRT the company that makes a muffler system a cat back uh, catalytic converter and all that stuff and it makes the uh, truck sound a lot louder but then it sounds like a Civic, you know, with a muffler. <laughs> uh, no offense to no Civic or anything like that, but I don't want it to sound like a uh, a JDM, you know, like a sports car, because it's not, it's a truck. So that's why I don't like the sound. And, and maybe it will get fixed maybe later on. I don't know if I put like a different muffler or, or, or remove the catalytic converter or anything like that, but that's my number one. Thing that I don't like about it the sound that the engine makes and I can hear it inside here one thing that I don't like about this right here is the way that it's too simple like super stripped down it's very basic stuff that you do right here whether it is the uh, audio part the phone connected one you can connect to a device and when you go to apps there's really no apps so I don't know why that is there you know, I really don't like that apart. It's a connect device, find mobile apps, and when you do find mobile apps, it really doesn't find anything unless it's connected via the phone. And even using the 4 app, it doesn't give you anything extra. So that's kind of stupid right there. Uh, this right here also connects apparently to Wi-Fi. It doesn't really do anything because it hasn't found any new updates uh, over Wi-Fi. And, you know, it's not even a Sync 3 system. So that's that sucks really bad. Um, and even when you connect it with a uh, mobile device, you get Apple CarPlay, and it's okay. But, like, this right here. Come on. What's going on here? Like, what was the design plan? What were they were going for that they did not end up going with? Like, what the hell am I going to put right here? Nothing. The biggest, like, flop ever. Um, <laughs> so, and I don't want to put nothing here because I don't want to like cover that space i've seen people put in like a phone there but a phone doesn't really go there because if you look at a phone it's way bigger like if i were to get a device if i could put it there this is a 13 pro max you know and the hole is way bigger than this area so it doesn't even fit that's why i use this side right here to connect my phone which just sits right here so um yeah that's kind of weird but you know that's kind of the one thing that i hate about it here it's just the way that this right here is kind of like pretending to be a sync system but it's not even a sync system so that's kind of sucks um i haven't even had a chance to do a software update like it connects to the wi-fi and it keeps looking for new updates but there's never an update so i don't know why would they make this like Connect to the Wi-Fi if you haven't really pushed any software, you know, and I'm pretty sure there's got to be a lot of things, bugs and things like that, which brings me to my other point about the uh, info infotainment system right here. I don't know if you guys are having this issue, but over time, out of nowhere, I have my Bluetooth uh, phone, my Bluetooth device connected to the stereo, and it would just randomly disconnect, and then it will say connecting to, you know. Rafi Reds, iPhone, 13 Pro Max, um, but it would just disconnect, and then it'll take a long time to reconnect again, and out of nowhere, it just would just connect, so that's another thing that I don't like, I think, and I think it has to be with a software update, maybe a, the Bluetooth, that module that they have in this truck, or this truck, you know, it's not really, you know, that high quality. But Caution. Speed trap ahead. I 
I get the iPhone disconnected all the time, so the phone disconnects most of the time, and then it reconnects again. Sometimes it won't even connect at all. So it's definitely not a problem with my device because I actually uh, run some diagnostic on the uh, on my phone, and uh, Bluetooth monitor works perfect. It doesn't disconnect when I connect other devices, but on this truck it disconnects. Uh, that's why most of the time I have it plugged in the uh, the Lightning cable. Our CarPlay, but they don't like to charge my phone all the time, so that's kind of like a bummer. So that's uh, number two uh, thing that I don't like about it. Now the other thing that I really don't like, and kind of hate the fact that they skipped on this, is not having a keyless entry and a keyless start, basically. Uh, because like I said I had a Mini Cooper and definitely that was a keyless entry open the car close the car turn on the car kind of thing and on this one I have to press the button I have to get the key out like flip the key insert it and turn it which is I know it's not a big deal but after you have a car that that was um, the way to do it and you, you move into a car that doesn't have that uh, I miss it a lot so I don't think it's that you know that difficult that expensive to make a car keyless entry I, I know the Lariat have that option you know but I don't think it's really that necessarily to make it the highest you know uh, trim level just to get keyless entry come on it's 2022 you could have done that a long time ago so I don't know why they didn't do that option there. there right here. But the other thing that I didn't quite like that much, but if you're gonna implement it, like give us a lot more options to do, is the whole thing that the back cubby, you know, the under the seat compartment, and on the back right here, and the armrest, they have this 3D model, you know, uh, and QR code, for you know people if they have like a, a 3d printer so they can print stuff and make like a specific uh, adapter there uh, 3d rendering and all that stuff but like I've been kind of looking to it and there's really not a lot of option to do uh, when it comes to 3d options right there uh, I was kind of looking to invest into getting a 3d printer so I can, you know, get the CAD files and things like that, or the files, so I can 3D print something. But to be quite honest, it, there was really not a lot of uh, options to do, other than a cup holder, some dividers, some small like cube stuff, trash can. Even the one from Ford, what they sell, it's not really that much or that many different ideas. So. I find it kind of like not stupid but kind of like really that, that's it like options if you're gonna implement something like implement it good now the top five that I like about the interior I'll try to go step by step so I can kind of explain them why I like them um, the number one thing that I like about the interior about this truck is the seats. The seats, let me tell you, are very, very comfortable. I really like them a lot. Um, when I first got on the truck and I was getting it uh, at the dealer and I did my first initial like drive around and everything, the first thing that I noticed is like, damn, these seats are very comfortable. They're spacious, they're nice. You know very very good and until this day they have great lumbar support uh, they're wide because on my previous car on my mini uh, it was bucket seats they were really tight seats there were uh, leather which they were nice and everything black leather but I like this cloth material like a lot it never gets too hot it never gets too cold it's like in between been here in Florida, you know, it's really cool. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would prefer like a heated seat for some other states when it gets really 
really cold but here meh, don't really need it that much so I'm glad that these seats right here that come factory with them like standard are very very comfortable I like that a lot the steering wheel if you use a steering wheel by itself for me it is super slippery that's why I got this cover in the uh, wheel right here because actually in the steering wheel because it provides a much better grip this is the same one that I have in my Mini Cooper so I like this steering wheel grip uh, the controls I'm still finding a way to kind of use them sometimes because there are going to be at times what I think that the volume is on this side and it's not the volume is on this side right here so I'm always fumbling between this one and this one I don't know which one it is so uh, but I like it, you know, control Siri, I like to that I press on it and Siri responds. Other thing that I like about here is the center dash, uh, you know, info right here in the middle. The center dash that has the screen in the middle has a lot of information, which I like. I like having lots of information display all at once. So I don't have to like, you know, click through menus and things like that. So the center dash, I like it a lot. It has me all the time, all the information that I want. And if I want to switch uh, screen, it's very simple. Just press the up button right here. And definitely it will give you more information from like miles to MPG, the time that I've been in, the speed, you know, the miles that I, the car has already, how many miles to empty. Uh, if I swipe up, they give me the fuel economy. It also tells me the uh, audio that's playing. I can switch it and give me like tire pressure. So I can see all the tire pressure for the truck. You can customize the screens right here. You can add more. If you're hauling something, it lets you know, you know, if the pack is working. Uh, that's different stuff, you know, which if you have four wheel drive, it lets you know which wheel are, you know, putting more power towards the front or the back or four wheel drive. So the, uh, info that you get from the center screen I really like it a lot the other thing is the compartments you know the amount of space compartment that you see in this truck whether it's in the center console right here that you can put your phone laying flat or standing up the uh, cup holders right here in the center I have a smaller uh, compartment here next to the uh, driving uh, to the shifter right behind they have another one that is an orange I had that orange accent then I have the center right here the center console here the center compartment here so there's multiple compartments for you to put stuff and I think that's great I love it um, I'm always going to compare it back to my mini my mini have really nothing like no compartments at all I have one small compartment to the very front and that was it it was too tight so not even my phone could fit on that one uh, so I love that I have a lot of space uh, and compartments to put things you know just random stuff um, talking about compartments one of the things that call me uh, that draw my attention to this truck was the extra compartment that you have on the doors you know uh, if you can put a whole liter right here a bottle right here you got more space you got like a section that goes in the inside I love that all the other doors have compartments as well the glove box and on the back the when you open it up when you open the uh, the seats when you lift them up you can see the underneath compartment which is you know huge there's a lot of stuff in there I'll show you guys in a minute what I have in there but that is another thing that I like about this truck, you know, the compartment. I, like I said, I, I'm so glad because, you know, if you want to go out and do stuff outdoors or whatever, you're going to store things and you're going to, especially have a truck, you know, that's the whole purpose for it. Uh, so a lot of compartments, compartments, compartments. <laughs> uh, the other thing, you know, that I really enjoy about this truck, that as a first time user, a first time that I get a truck is the ride, uh, the com the comfort of the ride. You know, I'm not coming from a very small 
car, you know, the Mini, jumping into this much bigger truck, I, I enjoy it a lot. I like it a lot. So, I'm glad that, you know, this was able to provide me a lot of ride comfort. So, that's awesome. So, like, the ride comfort is one thing that I like a lot. And then, especially the shifter, next to the shifter, there's a couple of uh, things that it does for you. So, airline coming down here so close oh, spirit um, when I stop at a light the truck stops and I can let go the brake and it will have the little hand like this and the center I'll show you guys in a second and I like that because I can let go of the brake and by letting off go of the brake uh, the car or the truck will stay still it won't move unless I press the accelerate accelerator again so that's cool. I like that a lot on my mini. I have to always like keep it on neutral uh, So I can actually you know Don't have to Keep on pressing the the gas pedal or the brake pedal. So I like that a lot So that was it, you know the five things I don't like about the interior and the five things I do like about the interior Well guys, that's it. That concludes this video. I kind of went around show you what I like and I don't like about the truck both inside and out let me know what of your uh, favorite things that you like about the truck or don't like about the truck uh, do we have some in common let me know in the comments down below also remember if you have any questions don't forget to put your questions down below as well and with that said thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one Rafi Red signing out Maverick out